Hello, hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Tom from the Misfit Mods. Here today we're going to show you how to install our Misfit Mods Media Center APKs. Um, they are forks of Kodi. Uh, so you can use them just like you use Kodi, uh, alongside Kodi on your device. So you can have more than one build. Um, or if you like to tinker with making builds yourself, you can be working on one project while still having uh, another Kodi that's loaded with a build that you're currently using to, to watch your TV. So let's uh, not hold off. We'll go ahead and dive right in. Today we're going to be using the direct method. Um, which is right from our website using the Chrome or any browser or a downloader app um, depending on your device and what you use. Uh, there are a few other different ways to get our APKs uh, but today we're going to just focus on this. Um, we'll show you some other ones down the road in some other videos like using the file linked uh, app and also using our wizard to install them. But for today we're just going to go the direct method. We're going to start out with the downloader app um, we're going to assume that you have it installed on your device already. Like I said, if you have a Fire TV device, uh, Fire Stick, Fire Cube, uh, Fire TV box, you're going to need to use this app to do it because you cannot download and install apps through your browser on those devices. So once you're inside your downloader app, we're going to type in misfitmods.com forward slash MMMC, Misfit Mods Media Center. And we're going to hit go. And that's going to bring us to our index. And this is all of our APKs that we currently have available. We're going to go ahead and we're going to install the 32-bit uh, LIA version just for the sake of this video. Just click on it and that will start downloading it. Once it's completed, it's going to prompt us to go ahead and install. go ahead and install it. It'll take just a minute and then you'll get a message saying that it's installed. We're going to say done. We're not going to open it right from here because I just want to show you that you can still delete after it's done installing. It's going to ask you if you'd like to delete that file. Um, always delete the APK files. There's no point in keeping them stored on your device. It's just going to take up space. You don't need it anymore so go ahead and click delete. And that's it. It's that simple. Now we're going to exit out of here. And uh, my shield is not going to pop right up here. I'd have to add it, but we can see it in my side load launcher. And there it is right there. You can go ahead and open it. You got to give permissions. And this is our 32-bit version. This is the one you want to use on your Fire TV devices or any other um, devices with lesser resources. Give it a minute while it uh, migrates any add-ons that it needs to. Okay, here we go. And this is our Misfit Mods APK. Now, it's going to prompt you, since our wizard is already pre-installed on these, it's going to give you your opening windows here for your first time run of your wizard. Just click continue. If you do not have a mouse, you can just hit back here. If you have a mouse, you can hit install complete. And then if you want to install one of our builds, as you can see, guys, like I said, it's just set up. It's just like Kodi. So if you know how to use Kodi, you know how to use our Misfit Mods Media Center. Um, it's just, you know, rebranded for us, uh, specifically, and it has our wizard installed. A few other things that, uh, my version of, of the media center has that Cody doesn't. Um, if you go into add-ons, go to my add-ons, you'll see that I have the input stream adaptive and the RTMP input, uh, add-ons installed and already active 
um, that was left out of Cody 18, so I went ahead and put them back in for those of you that use them to stream live streams usually. Um, some new add-ons like the Netflix add-on require them. So they are here and they are ready to work in our APK. Um, also, another thing that I have installed but is disabled is the PVR IPTV Simple Client. For you, those of you that use the Simple Client, um, all you need to do is enable it and set it up. But it is here and it is installed, so you don't have to install it from the repo. And that's it. For now, we're going to go ahead and we're going to go into our Misfit Mods wizard and we're going to show you how to install a build. Just click enter on the wizard, go to builds. And you're going to go ahead and install. We'll go ahead and pause the video for a minute while this installs. Okay. We're just about installed. We're going to click OK. And now if you go back into it. There's our build all installed and ready to go. And it's that easy. We are going to go ahead and head home. Now it's important to note when you install these APKs, whether it's on your Android TV device or whether it's on a Fire TV device, you're not going to see it right here in your list of apps. Um, you're going to have to put it there. So on the Shield, it's easy. We're going to go ahead and click Add Apps to Favorites. We're going to go down here. We're going to find it. We're going to hit Enter, and bam, it's there. Hold down Enter. You can move it wherever you want it. And leave it there. On your Fire TV device, you're going to go down to the row that says Your Apps and Games. You're going to scroll all the way over to the right like this, and there's going to be a button at the end that says See All or Show All. You're going to click Enter on that, and that's going to bring you to a screen with all of your apps. And if you look down at the bottom, you will find the app sitting down there. Uh, once you get to it, highlight it and hold down your Info button, the button on your remote with the three lines. And that's going to bring up a little, a little pop-up menu, and you just want to hit Move to Front. And that will move it to the front so you will see it on your home screen. And then once you open it from there, it will show up in your recents as well. Um, so that's how you put it on the home screen of your Amazon Fire TV device. Okay, so we have the 32-bit installed that we installed through the downloader. Now I'm going to show you the easy way, the way I use for any Android device without having to install any other app, uh, just using the browser. So we're going to go to Chrome. And we're going to type in our URL, misfitmods.com forward slash MMMC, Misfit Mods Media Center. And now we're going to go. Brings you right to the same place. Now we installed the 32-bit through downloader, so now we're going to install the 64-bit version. This is for your NVIDIA Shields um, and your other devices that have three or four gigs of, of RAM and a little bit more powerful processors that can run the 64-bit version. All right, now we're going to go ahead and open the file. We're going to go ahead and install it. It's important to note this one does not give you the option to delete the APK file. So I would recommend that you go in through your ES Explorer or similar file management app. show you that real quick if you head to ES File Explorer home go 
go to your download folder and you will see it right there so we already have it installed so we don't need it anymore so we're gonna hold down the enter button and then we're just gonna pop it in the delete and that's it and we can exit right out of here we will add it to our home screen there it is right there That's it. When you open it for the first time, you're going to have your same as, as we did with 32-bit. And allow your permissions. It's going to go ahead and open it up. If you got a P, now's the time. We're going to go ahead and wait a minute here while it loads everything up. And there you go. It's ready, set to go. That's it's just a message because I have something else running in the background, so don't worry about that. Dismiss, continue, and hit back. Or go ahead and hit install complete. And that's it, guys. Uh, I'm not going to show you how to install another build. Uh, we already did that once. Um, you can use these APKs for whatever you like, however you like. I uh, hope you find them helpful. Hope this video helped you out a bit. If it did, give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to my channel, check out some of my other videos. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments for me. Uh, tell me what you like about what I'm doing, what you don't, or if there's a video that you'd like me to make, uh, leave that in the comments as well, and I'll try to get to it for you. I appreciate your support, appreciate you watching. Everybody have a good one. We'll see you next time.